Hey, I have these mattresses that the kids run into when they do the zip line. And my sister Judy gave me this vinyl stuff, so I am going to cover cover it so the kids have something to run into that doesn't look horrible. Let's go ahead and do that. That's how long that piece is. This is water repellent. So that should fit just fine. Yeah, let's just take this stuff off. There we go, now let's get this one on there. Okay, we got this one down. Let's get uh, the vinyl, the covering off this one. Okay, they're both um, down to just the foam. And it's funny, I was trying to figure out how to, what to cover them with, and then my sister just gives me this material, so this will work. And it's not wide enough, so I'm just going to get the other roll that I have. She gave me two rolls, and roll that down, and then cut them and sew them up. Well, we need this long, and I love these electric scissors. Look, you just, just do that. So easy. And since this piece is longer, I decided to not use that piece because there'll be a seam on the top. So I'm just going to use this piece and fold it over, and I won't have a seam, and there'll be less chance of water getting in there because there's no seam. So I'm just going to do that. Okay, this is the fold. I've cut a little bit off on this side. Sew it up, stuff it, and tie it up. Okay, it's cut. Now let's go. Now all I have to do is sew down the sides, turn it inside out, and stuff it. Okay, I've sewn up each of the sides, this side and this side now, to turn it inside out. Let's see if we can do that one. Okay, it's turned inside out. Now I will slide. I'm just going to slide one of them in for now and then stitch so it doesn't uh, fall down. You know what I mean? I want, that, want it to stay where it needs to be. So let's, let's put one of the mattresses in. And here's a little trick. I folded it back inside out halfway so I don't have to stuff it all the way through. I'll just have to stuff it to there and that slipped right in there very easily okay now I'm going to go stitch across there and then stuff the other one in oh and this is how it looks turned inside out now let's do that stitching and it was too hard to get on my sewing machine so I just hand stitched it right to here and that'll keep it from falling through now let's put the other mattress in Okay, they are both in there. Since I don't have upholstery machinery stuff, I may just staple. Okay, it is stapled. Hopefully no spiders will crawl in there. They should not. Now let's hang it up on the pole. And I just have these minky strips. Oh, I trimmed the tree too. <laughs> these minky strips that are too skinny to do anything with, but they make great ropes to tie this to. And this is my clothesline if I ever need to hang anything up. Okay, let's get a ladder. Okay, I think I'll get a few more of those strips and just tie it on really well. It'll be done. That looks a lot better. Hey, all done. That ought to do her. <laughs> now they can not have pieces of that plastic stuff getting all over them. It was kind of a mess. So this looks a lot better. All done. Oh, and actually I didn't even need to sew in between these two because I've got a rope there. So minus, subtract that step because that was too much work. We want this to be simple. Oh, and this uh, seat cover is 
looking disgusting. <laughs> Davey was staring at it yesterday. So, I have this stuff, this strip of it. I was just going to throw this away, but I can just make a little cover to go over the top. I don't have upholstery stuff, so I can't sew through that thick of stuff. But I can just make a slip cover that goes over the top. So I'll just do that one. And I'll just cut it. Cut it to that. To that. Sew it. And then just slip them on. And I don't need to hem it because it doesn't fray. So let's do that. Hey, there we go. Now it doesn't look disgusting anymore and they matched and I forgot about the selvage edge. Just use that and put the other side on the back side. That should work. Yeah, you gotta fix it up, wear it out, make it do or do without. <laughs> I don't know, just fix up stuff that you have around the place. And this, um, this should work. Hopefully it will, that looks so much better. And I have not got dressed yet for the day because I got very sweaty doing this, very sweaty. I'll, I'll get dressed now. And remember my DIYs come on every Friday at two, so we'll see you then. Bye-bye.